Right, the main reason for this project was a few weeks ago we had a power cut. Um, it was only about five, six o'clock in the evening, but it was dark, being winter time. And the two young children in the house, quite young, don't actually like the dark and the lights going out. Um, plus, you know, I've got no internet, no laptop, no TV, no lights. It's a bit of a bit of a palaver having no no power. Um, if you're watching this in another country, the power over here generally only goes out from anything from five minutes to an hour. We never have any major power cuts really. So I just quickly slung this together, as you can see, quick, bish bosh, bang, job done. Uh, once it was up and running, I thought the main thing was to get it running with the basics I had, and then I can just upgrade it as I go. So now I know the charge controller works, the solar panel works, the battery was left out. The battery was left over from another project. I used to use it as you know, the ideal if you're into CB radios, carrying radios out in the field. Um, so the battery needs to be replaced instantly. That's the first thing to be upgraded. But I thought, you know, why go out and spend a fortune on the battery? Um, well, I've got that one just lying around and it will do just for testing it. Again, that's a plug in cigarette lighter job, which I've just extended so I can see it from the window. Uh, in time, I will buy some problem meters. But at the moment, I, can, I don't have to keep going in my shed every five minutes. I'm locking it to see what's uh, what's in the bank. So that's 20 watts uh, with a total output of 21 volts. Uh, and it charges 12 volts. Uh, just fed into the door. Again, 15 pound, I think it was from eBay, 20 pound. Probably the cheapest charge controller on the market. Shuts the power off. Um, 14 volts in this overcharged battery. Um, that's my <clears throat> voltage adapter, which I've got running to the uh, CB. Again, there's the neon lights, generally used for PC. Uh, the left there is the charge controller, no, not charge controller unit, so what do you call it? Voltage con converter converts 12 volts to, uh, to 230, I think it is. The extension lead, I can just plug that in and run it through to the house. Again, that battery will only run a small lamp for about four hours, but it will still enable me to have a light in a room and plug in a couple of chargers for like the kids' DSs or my phone, and that's pretty much all I need for an hour. Cooking and heat inside of things is on gas, but the main thing is electricity. Uh, I'm not too bothered when a power cut comes across, um, but of course. Like I said, two young children. And uh, so now it's all up and running. Uh, the next lot of videos will be me updating everything, upgrading it, bit by bit. So the ship I already had, and the battery I already had, but that's the first thing that's going to be upgraded. It needs many, many, many more um, amp hours. Uh, that was only 75 watts. That needs to be upgraded at some point, but at the moment it works. I mean, it cuts out if too much power goes in or not enough. It cuts out if you try and take too much power out of it. It's a handy little device, um, 25, 30 pound. Um, you know, if you need to use more power, then um, buy a bigger inverter. But that does me fine for what I need it for. This was not an IMP Hong Kong import. Again, that will be upgraded at some point. And the charge controller unit seems to be doing its job, so I'm not too bothered about upgrading it at the moment. It stops charging the battery when the battery hits 14 volts or 28 volts. It automatically determines which volt battery you're using. Um, it won't let, it will cut out when the battery gets to 10.8 volts, so you won't too badly drain your battery, and it won't start again until it hits 11.8. Handy little thing. Um, 10 amp. Uh, that was bad, bad, bad. Uh, blue, so I had to buy another one. Um, that's the solar panel there. Um, about a foot square. It's uh, mono crystalline, so it's got the nice toughened glass in the front of it. Uh, the maximum volts that come out are 21.8. Um, it's 10 watt. I think I accidentally said 20 early on the video, if my mistake. It's 10 watt, um, 15 amps, and of course with 21.8 volts coming out. Again, I must stress that I am not here to save the planet or power my entire house. It was just a little bit of a weekend project, keep me busy, uh, to see if I could 
work out some sort of trick or charging type of device. I don't want it charged up in a matter of hours or within one day. If it takes um, three or four days to be charged, fully charged, when it's completely drained, that's fine. Um, the main thing is I just want something so if the grid goes out for half hour or so, that I can just run extension lead out, plug a few lamps in, kids DSs, plug my phone on charge, and then generally the power kicks straight back in again. Um, by the time that's happened, I probably would have drained, drained my batteries by about 99%, and it may take three days to charge, but about £150 I think I spent. Um, you know, if I've got power for a couple of hours, I'm happy. And also, it's handy for the garden. I don't have to run extension leads out when they're having a party. I can just plug lights and stereo straight into the shed. So, thanks for watching. Um, now I suppose I'm going to get plenty of comments telling me I've done everything wrong. I know it's untidy. I've just boshed it together. I'm going to get some proper meters wired in. I think it's got to be hardwired and put away properly. Um, yes, there is a fire extinguisher in the shed and one in the house, just in case. But it's just a, it's a cracking little project, a bit of fun. And uh, the worst thing that could happen is the shed might back down. I'll just buy another one. So, thanks for watching.